Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I'm sure most of you are familiar with the website Kiwi SDR, where there are SDR radios on the internet that people allow you to use them, control them, and uh, have a lot of fun with them. Well, I got an email a couple of days ago that the new version of the Kiwi SDR software that these people use to let you use their radios has been updated once again. It's been updated quite a bit recently. And this was a feature that I'm always interested in is information about stations via the EIBI database, which contains tons of information about stations. And now, owners of a Kiwi SDR radio can update to this version and have that additional feature. Now, we'll try to show it to you right now. Uh, I've selected one. I don't remember which one I selected. doesn't matter. It, well, it actually does matter because if the particular person who's running uh, their radio on the internet hasn't updated to this latest software, uh, which is, if I go over here, it's 1.470. It just came out October 15th. Then they won't have this capability of the EIBA, EIBI database being shown. And now I'll show you what that looks like. So here it is. This is a uh, station in uh, Caribbean Netherlands. I just picked this one at random. It is, if you go to stats, where is stats? Oh my gosh, stats. Down here under up, right here is the version number. V1.470. So this person is using the latest software. Now, you look at this and you go, I don't see anything. I've seen this before, this kind of general information. Well, if you right click on this area right here, here's other, all the other options that are available, most of which have been there for a little while, and I didn't know about it. But this is the one we're looking at right now, is the DX EIB database. So you click on that, and there it is. There is all the information from that database. Now, you will have to uh, zoom out, or excuse me, zoom in, So because this stuff, there's so much of it, it overlaps. So let's zoom in. We're on the uh, 49 meter international broadcast band here. And now you can start being able to read these things. Like here is channel 294. That, that's a European, I believe it's a long wave channel that's also broadcast on short wave. And there's actually something here because this particular radio is over in Europe. So they could possibly pick up this station. And then I can zoom in a little more. Now it's a little easier to read. So then you can select. Uh, let's see. Trying to find one. There's a pretty good signal right there. Which is probably this one. Tells you something about the information. Again, about the station's broadcast. Again, this is information that's in the EIBI database. So I'm going to select that station. Here it's tuned to it. I can turn stats off here. Whoops. And then I can go, oh, I didn't mean to do that. But anyway, let's go to audio. And I'll turn the volume back up. And I don't hear anything. So let's try this one over here. This seems to be a little stronger. I don't want to take. I don't want to look at this mess here. So let's try this one, which is probably this one right here. This is this is out of Germany. Really weak, but anyway, um, we can zoom back out. I mean, 
Yeah, back out. And then here's all these. Here's all. The, see all the stuff in blue here is from that database. I'm not sure what the stuff in purple is. But there's bunches of information. Oh, I know what it might be. Um, it might be the um, language that they're broadcasting in, uh, in right now. That could be what the color code is. I'll have to do some more research. But to go back to, let me mute this. You go back to, this is the uh, familiar website where all these receivers are, which is at the kiwisdr.com slash public slash. And you can either look at the listing this way, or you can click on here and see a map, which is what I usually do. And then you can zoom in, move it around. And so then you could pick one of these radios to listen to. Now, what I plan on doing this weekend is since shortwave reception here in my location, which is down here on the west coast of Florida, is still not very good. I'm going to come over here and select one of these radios over here so I can actually hear some stuff. And then, oh, excuse me, nose itches. And then get um, some ideas of what stations that I want to listen to on my radio that I'll eventually be able to receive once the conditions improve. So check this out. This is, I think this is pretty cool. Um, this having this EIBI database overlay here again to get this you come up to this area right here and you right click and then here's all the other options like for instance um, you can do a DX cluster lookup you can do an SWBC database lookup just whoop, let me get right click and then I'll left click and that takes you to shortwave dash info with the information from that other page which is the frequency and then down here is the stations that are possibly broadcasting on that frequency <laughs> this is interesting um, no it's not the purest shortwave radio listing on your own radio it's using somebody else's radio but right now that gets you around the problem where depending on where you live reception is not that good on shortwave it's improving but it's kind of stuck now with a solar flux index about 85 it's kind of stuck there we need to get it above 100 hopefully since it's going into the winter it will improve anyway if you have any questions leave it in the comments Maybe I could answer it. Maybe somebody else can. I think you'll like this. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'm getting close to 15,000. I know that's not a big deal when you see some of these other uh, YouTubers that do game reviews and they've got a million subscribers. I'm happy that I've got all you loyal fans, 15,000 subscribers, to a network that's about a very unique niche, which is radios and shortwave listening. Have a great day. Bye-bye.